Hey guys, what is up? Plastic Guy here, coming back with another collection video where today we're going to be taking a look at my Toy Biz Lord of the Rings figures. Previously on the channel, we had a look at my Toy Biz Spider Man movie figure collection, so if you missed that, guys, feel free to hop on over to the channel page and check that video out. But today, as we're looking at Lord of the Rings videos, let me know down in the comments below what your favourite Lord of the Rings movie is. For me, I, I honestly don't know, I, I guess I'll go for Fellowship, but it's so hard to choose, so let me know what you guys think down below. And while you're down there guys, if you do me a massive favour and hit that like button, and if you're feeling it, hit that subscribe button too for future videos on figures and collectibles, such as the guys we're about to take a look at. And with that being said, let's just get right into the video. And here we go guys, here is my Toy Biz Lord of the Rings figure collection with a few other bits and bobs mixed in that we'll take a closer look at. I just want to go through this collection piece by piece and share what I like, what I don't like. Just my personal thoughts on each figure. I absolutely love this figure line. The Toy Biz Lord of the Rings figure line is amazing. I just love the sculpt, the painting on each figure. Not all figures are great as we can probably see right here. But there are a lot of good ones as well. For every bad figure, there's probably two or three really, really good ones. So yeah, I just want to express my love for this figure line. And the reason I really wanted to show these guys off is because there's a lot of Lord of the Rings figures coming out at the moment with Mego and we've got Diamond Select. And I've went to buy these figures myself because I love Lord of the Rings. I wanted to check out the new Diamond Select Legolas and Gimli. However, every time I go to buy one and it's in my cart, I just patch it because I know these Toy Biz figures are up on eBay, you can get them really cheap. I mean honestly guys, any figure you can see here is going to cost you less than £20. It's probably going to cost you around £10 or less up on eBay. I don't know why, because they're amazing figures, but you can get them really cheap, there's a lot of them. As I said, there's a lot of bad figures and there's a lot of amazing figures, so you do just really need to rifle through them. Figure out what ones you want to get and just keep your eye open, which is pretty much what I do. And here are the figures I've ended up with. So let's just get right into it, let's start taking a look at them. And I really don't know where to start. Um, I guess we'll go for my least favourite and that is Boromir. So I'm sure you can probably get better Boromir figures uh, from Toy Biz, but this is the one I've got and yeah, this is uh, a problem that I've fallen Let's just get the sword out first. Uh, nice. Uh, yeah, I've fallen victim to a few times when collecting these Toy Biz Lord of the Rings figures. I'll see a figure up on eBay. The sculpt looks good. I mean, Boromir here looks pretty decent. You can tell it's Boromir. Got that sort of resemblance to Sean Bean. Could definitely be better, but... You know, that's Boromir for me, and he looks great. I'll buy the figure, and it turns out it's one of these, like, action ones where, you, look, you push the button at the back, and, yeah, he starts dancing around. Not the worst, especially if you can get him in a good pose, but, yeah, I struggle to get this Boromir in a good pose. Um, he, do he can't move his arm up and down. It's stuck in this right-angled pose. Well, it's not right-angled if you do that, but... You can't move it down and it's sticking out like a sore thumb, a sore arm if you would. So yeah, I'm just not a massive fan. This arm's fine, you can move it around, but these stupid battle action features just sometimes limits the figure and for that reason Boromir is probably my least favourite here, just due to the sort of resemblance to Sean Bean and just this action feature that kind of holds it up. But if I do remember correctly, he came with a shield and a sword as we saw that is broken but yeah decent figure just not my favorite so from Boromir let's go to Saruman Ugh. so I got this guy once again on eBay and he's all right um I really wish I had a better Saruman figure to be fair when I was looking for these guys and I'll need to have another look they were expensive, they weren't as cheap as the other ones uh, that I was talking about at the start of the video. Don't know why they were, well when I say they were expensive they were like £20 out of box. I'm sure a cheaper one will pop up but this was the one I ended up getting, I think it was around £7. And he's alright, um, he's quite limited in articulation um, and he's got an okay resemblance to Saruman, I just feel like it could be better. The body's just not the best, it's kind of tricky. 
tricky. It's kind of tricky to get him to stand now and again. I mean, to be fair, I think I'm just being a bit harsh. Oh, his hair seems to be coming off. Oh my god! <laughs> okay, that's uh, new. I think that's just happened there. Gonna need some super glue or some Saruman powers for that. But yeah, he's decent. Um, I just, I don't know what I'm really wanting, but yeah, I, I feel like there just needs to be a suitable upgrade for Saruman because he's such a cool character. But for now, I'm happy with him. You can see the kind of articulation in the legs there. Cool figure, just not my favourite. Oh, ah. Some more battle action going on. Woo! Okay, just to get him out the road, let's go for the Witch King. And this is a figure I've had since I was a kid. I remember, I might have got him in a multi-pack. I think I did get him in a multi-pack. I'm not 100% sure. But I've had him for years, absolutely ages. And he's probably a bit worn, probably a bit dusty. I do have him out on display. See the armor under the kind of cloak here. His articulation is just all over the place and the arms and the legs. But he's a decent figure, I really like him. Uh, yeah, as I was talking about the arms and the articulation, it's just a bit hard to move because of all this rubbery plastic and everything in the way. I think he looks really good, I'm really happy with him, I think it's a good resemblance to the character, but it is just hard to pose him around because of all the kind of this. But yeah, I really like this figure. Moving on, let's just quickly take a look at this guy. He's not Toy Biz, he's the Bendy Figs Gandalf. And I'm not going to say too much about him. I've got a full video on this guy up on the channel, so feel free to hop on over to the channel page and check that video out. I just think he's a decent Gandalf figure, especially for the price, and doesn't really fit into the Toy Biz collection, unfortunately. He's a bit too big, but I just thought I'd shove him in the video anyway. A figure that I don't actually have in my collection but I had to give a shout out to is the Peter Jackson the Hobbit figure. Yeah, Toy Biz made a figure of the director Peter Jackson in Hobbit form and that is just so cool. If I was a director of a film I would definitely be going to the toy lines and asking them to make a figure of me, especially in the likes of a Hobbit. That would be so cool, so fun and I just have to give a massive shout out to Toy Biz for that kind of fun factor in this figure line. It's not currently in my collection but I might have to add it soon. Hmm, hmm, what to go for next? Let's take a look at an inbox figure because I really want to talk about the boxes on these guys. So here is the latest figure in my collection and honestly this is probably one of my favourites. It's Transfixed Bilbo. And before we get on to him, I do just want to address the boxes because perhaps I'm blinded by nostalgia but I love the boxes of these figures. This is one of two types, your sort of rectangular display box and then you get another type that we'll look at later on. But with each box, the colour matches the movie, so Fellowship's green, Return of the King's blue and the two towers is a sort of burgundy. And I just love it. I, the detail on it is pretty decent. You've got markings around the window box here and then you've always got a wee sticker showing you the character. At the top it will show you the movie it's from, as I talked about the colours, you've got the wee pattern at the top of the guys. And on the back there's a lot of detail, a picture, again, a big read up, so I will just leave this here if you want to read it, pause it now. And then, yeah, just more stuff at the bottom. For me, as I said, the boxes just scream nostalgia, it just takes me back to being a kid, walking around Woolworths looking at these guys, just dreaming of the ones I wanted. And I didn't know this figure existed until not too long ago when I was just scrolling through eBay. I saw him. I left him at first, but when I decided I was going to make this video, I knew I had to grab this guy, and I'm not disappointed. Also, I didn't address, you can see the map in the background as well. But yeah, um, I've got him in box just now. I will probably open him up at some point because I do want to take some pictures of him. But I'll save that for another video. But yeah, look at the detail on his face there. That is so funny. And I did talk about how these new companies are making new Lord of the Rings figures such as Diamond Select. It'd be really cool to see them making a figure such as Transfix Bilbo. The Toy Biz line had a lot of fun with these figures and it'd be really cool to see another company do the same. But yeah, this figure is an absolute belter. 
Okay, let's go for another out of box figure and let's go for the other latest figure in my collection. I got this at the same time that I ordered Bilbo and this is Lutz because Lutz is an absolute badass. He is just, ah, oh, he's so sick. Look at the face there. The detail in that face is just awesome. And the detail just flows throughout. You now you've got this chest armor here. Oh, that. With all these Lord of the Rings figures, just the rubbery plastic that portrays their costume, just it, they nail it every time. It looks so good. It's got a wee pouch for arrows at the back. And as you can see, this is another sort of battle action one. So, yeah, the articulation isn't the best. It's better than Boromir. Um, and you've got this arm that can move around, stick out. And then if you aim the bow, which is a wee bit tricky to do, and press the button on the back, you can get him firing those arrows right at Sean Bean's head. Nah, I'm kidding. Obviously, <laughs> I'm just joking around. But, I mean, I suppose you could. You could set up that scene with the figures. That would be a cool photo as well. But, yeah, this figure is great. I got him for about £5 on eBay. And a great Lurch figure, in my opinion. So, we've looked at a lot of the battle action focused figures and with this figure line I feel like the best figures are more of the super poseable kind and with that being said let's look at Legolas. I don't even know if this was described as a super poseable figure but it does have a good range of articulation if I just take the bow out of his hand we'll take a closer look at him. First of all the head sculpt just looks great. And you can see that sort of neck hinge there, so you can move the neck around, and then you can also... Oh, you can actually move the head. I thought you could maybe move the head separate, but it's just the neck. But yeah, that head sculpt is fantastic. One of the best legless head sculpts I've seen. They do range on these Toy Biz figures, but they get legless fairly consistently good, so... I'm happy with this guy right here. I feel like he portrays Legolas really well with the costume and the head sculpt and everything. I got his hair at the back. Once again, I got this guy in an eBay bundle, so he didn't come with all these pieces. He didn't even come with a bow. That's actually Boromir's bow that I had him holding. But I love the detail in this guy. If you can see the legs, yeah. His boots there. But just... One of my favourite characters, one of my favourite figures, and you can see his arm moves all the way out. He's got an elbow joint here. The hand would move, but I feel like I swapped the hands round. I can't remember. I feel like this might be super glued on. Um, let's see. Yeah, this hand will move around. So that other hand was a wee modification. I feel like he was missing his hand, and I glued a hand on him. You can move him at the waist. His leg's going to kick out to the side. You've got a Double, no, just a single jointed knee, and then you can also move the foot. So, I mean, really good articulation in these old Toy Biz figures. These figures are nearly 20 years old now, and for me, this figure right here still holds up. I would happily choose this over the new Diamond Select Legless any day of the week. So another figure I have in box is this Elrond figure and this is the second style of box. It's quite big as you can see and you've got the display in the middle. Lord of the Rings, Fellowship of the Rings, still that green colour. You've got the product image and then the window display. There's nothing really at the top and I don't want to move it too far in case I knock a figure over. But yeah, there's nothing really at the top there. And then you've got all this detail in the back. I love the back of these boxes. So you've got a picture up here. Elrond with Elven Sword Attack Action. Pause that now if you want to read it. Then you've got more detail down the side here. More figures. You can see that Aragorn's a bit mental looking. Orc Warrior, Traveling Bilbo. It shows you the battle action there. Describes it more at the top. Just a lot going on at the back of this box. I really like it. And yeah, another figure that I might take out at some point. Um, I just need a better display area for these Lord of the Rings figures. So for now, he's staying in box and I really like the look of this guy. You can get a couple Elrond figures. I like the fact I've got this battle action one at the style of the first film. Next up here is Gollum, a Smeagol statue. 
and it is excellent. I mean, look at his eyes there. That is so creepy. Such good detail in this guy. And I got him for £20. I got this statue with the Lord of the Rings, Two Towers Extended Edition for £20 in a second-hand shop in the town. So you can see he's got the rock kind of base there. And I do have this guy out on display at the moment. Still that detail up his back. He's holding a really nicely detailed fish. And then it just tops it off with that head sculpt. This thing is great and I think you can get it on eBay for fairly cheap. Um, you can see the bottom here, I'll just hold that. Yeah, if you go into eBay, you'll probably find this guy for under a tenner. To be honest, I've not checked in a while, but I'm sure I did back in the day and it was around £10. I got it for 20 including the extended edition and the making of Gollum I think came with it. So I'm just really happy with this piece and it will continue to stay out on my display. Let's go from Gollum to Gollum and take a look at the 6 inch scaled Gollum that I've got. Here is Bendy Smeagol, yeah he doesn't really have much articulation, he just bends. <laughs> And yeah, it's alright. I mean, you can't really get him in any great poses. I just have him standing up straight. But I had this figure when I was so young. I don't know how long I've had this guy for. He came with a base similar to one we'll look at later on. Uh, you pressed a rock and it went, my precious, you know. But it's got an alright sculpt to it, you know. You'd know, you know who that is. It's Gollum, right? Yeah, I don't know. It is what it is. It's not the best, but it's not the worst either. And they do have a super poseable, super articulated Gollum figure that I will probably pick up in the future if I can get for the right price. But this guy's cool. Another piece of my Lord of the Rings collection is this replica sting sword. I was like 13 or 14 and I was watching these YouTubers who had like replica Legolas daggers and like other awesome Lord of the Rings weapons and it kind of just put me on that hype train I was like I really need a Lord of the Rings weapon in my collection so I started looking and yeah I found this sting sword for I think it was around 40 pounds definitely no more than that and as I said I was really young I can't even remember what website it was but Paid the money and yeah, this arrived at my door and I thought it was awesome. Let's just take a closer look at it. So I just want to show off Sting real quick. As I said, it was around £40 and I think for that it is great. You've got the blade area here and you've got the pattern as you see in the film running right up the blade. And that's on both sides so I really like that. The blade itself isn't super sharp, but I mean of course it is still a blade and would probably do some amount of damage. You see the tip here is a bit blunt, which is probably preferred to be honest. I should maybe even put some blue tack on just for safety, but still really nice sword, really nice blade bit here and you've got the handle which is a bit marked up if I'm being honest. If you look at the top here you can sort of see some markings here. And yeah, it's just, it's not the cleanest, but I did try and give it a wee clean, but yeah, you can just see marks all over, but I'm happy with it, to be honest, not too bad, not too off-putting. It is a sword after all, it's going to get used, it's going to be in battles. Got some more patterned area here, and then on this side as well. So yeah, it's not the cleanest, it's not the most um, finessed blade, a wee chip here as well, that could have been me, but to be honest I've just had it on display since I opened it up, uh, when it arrived in the mail you can see more just kinda, yeah, it's not like super clean, but, and I don't mean that as in it's dirty, it's actually kinda just, you know, it's not been made the best, it's not been sculpted the best it could be, you can just see a lot of roughness in the metal but for the price you know I don't think it's too bad at all I mean you're gonna have to pay a lot more than £40 if you want a high quality replica I really like the wooden handle and uh, the pattern that's painted on top of that I think it's pretty movie accurate and then you've got the hilt bit at the top here once again it doesn't seem the most smooth but not bad at all and I'm really happy to have it out on display and as part of my Lord of the Rings collection but enough on Sting here, let's get back to the figures. 
Okay, next up, we'll take a look at another figure that's a little different. Here is the 8 inch. I think he's about 8 inches, as you can see, next to Aragorn, who's standing about 6 inches there. This is Frodo Baggins, and one of my favourite characters in Lord of the Rings. And this figure is just excellent. I mean, the detail in it is just outstanding. You've got the different textured waistcoat here. It's the detail in the jacket, the cape. I love this figure. And you can get them for so cheap on eBay. He's like £7, you know, second hand. You can get them for about £20 new. The feet there. And it's just completely worth it. If you're a fan of Frodo, then definitely get this 8-inch figure. It just looks so great. I got the Sam first, which we'll look at next. I got him in a bundle, and as soon as I got him, I was like, well, I'm going to need the Frodo to go along with him. And I searched on eBay for a while, and I finally got this guy. I checked again not too long ago, and you can get a few. There's a few up on eBay at the moment. So definitely go give it a look and see if you can grab this guy for a good price because it is such a great figure. Oh, just look at that head sculpt. And yeah, next we'll just take a look at Sam. So this is definitely a great Sam figure. To be honest, with Toy Biz, they never really nailed that look of Sam. You can tell who the character's meant to be here, but it doesn't quite get him spot on. And they never really did from the figures that I've seen. But for me, this is probably the best likeness, and I do really enjoy this guy. He just goes with that other Frodo so well. Once again, you've got the cape, just the detail in the body and the legs are superb. The feet look great. You cannot complain with these guys, especially for the price you can pick them up at. And look at that, just, oh, it looks so good. So let's get a couple of my favorite characters on screen, the Merry and Pippin. Here they are, and they're both really similar figures. Um, just the way they stand, and they were both holding swords, I think. I might even still have the other one. But yeah, I mean, decent likeness. This one definitely looks a lot more like the character than this one does, but I feel like you can tell who they are, despite the fact every time I go on eBay, I look at Frodo action figures or Frodo figures, I always see this guy popping up, and I'm like, that's, that's not Frodo, but... I feel like I can tell who they are and they're alright, they're not the most articulated but they'll do the job. I do wish they did do a more like superposable pair of figures and they might but I don't feel like I've ever seen any. These are always the ones that pop up and yeah they're really decent, I really like the colours and you know the waistcoats and everything. They're just not my favourite compared to the superposable Frodo that we'll look at later on but yeah cool pieces this one definitely has a better likeness than the other and just because he is the last one sort of standing not by himself let's have a look at sam yeah i, I don't like this figure at all i really love sam but this figure just sucks i mean the articulation in the feet not even the articulation just the way they've sculpted it and he's like stuck in this pose makes him so hard to stand um, I really wish you could move his legs about a bit more. I do have this guy just sitting when he's out in my display, but the face is not bad. Once again, it, you know who it is, but it just doesn't quite nail it. I do like the coat and the bag and everything. Oh, more battle action going. Oh, he's running. Yeah, cool wee feature. But yeah, just the legs. I see from here down, it just ruins it up here cool if they just changed some of the articulation in the legs here be such a better figure yeah definitely need to upgrade sam next up let's take a look at another inbox figure and we'll go for i was going to say my favorite character but i can't choose what my favorite character is it would definitely come down to frodo legolas and aragorn they're my top three but Every character in Lord of the Rings is just so great for different reasons. So here is Legolas, and as you might be able to tell, my three favourite characters, I wanted a version of them in box, so Frodo, Aragorn and Legolas, here's their in box counterparts, but here's a Return of the King Legolas figure, and he looks so good, that's the reason I got this guy, he just looks so great. The box is in mint condition, however it did kind of ruin it for me when I saw the just massive kind of peg sticking out the back. 
You see that there? Uh, just there, that long ass peg sticking out his back to get him in this like battle action dagger throwing. Ah, uh, just make him a poseable figure, like I super poseable, but he's got massive things sticking out his back. Yeah, I mean he looks great, but I just wish he didn't have. I mean I suppose you could customize it or whatever, but. It'd just be better if it wasn't there, but that's why I've kind of kept him in box as well. You don't really notice it from head on, but once again, a lot of detail here. If you want to read that, hit the pause button. And then you've got some more going on below. Yeah, once again, love the box. Great looking figure, just wish it didn't have that ma- I just wish all the battle action figures were just more super poseable and more focused on that aspect rather than a sort of gimmicky action feature okay next up let's take a look at gandalf sadly gandalf's missing his hat i don't know if he did come with a hat but he didn't come with a hat when i bought this bundle um really good you know i wish i had a sword from to hold i probably do but i don't have one at the moment um i really like this i mean the head sculpt is spot on see for a figure that's like 20 years old that head sculpt looks fantastic. That is Gandalf right there. The hair and beard is made of like a weird sort of rubber that looks like it's sort of wearing away, as you can see, a wee bit. But I mean, it's still holding up for now. And the only gripe I have is these long sleeves. They could have made that look a wee bit better, I feel. But once again, 20 year old figure and it looks great for the most part. And you can't have a Lord of the Rings collection without the one ring it's not toy biz i actually don't know what company did make this one right here but i got it on ebay for around 20 pounds and let's just take a closer look at it or should we after all it is mine my precious that sucked Okay, here it is, here it is my £20, the one ring that I got on eBay, comes in this really nice box, nice texture to it, the Lord of the Rings in the front, and then you have all this in the back, hit pause if you really want to read all that, and as I kind of mentioned, there isn't a proper company name to this piece, so I'm not 100% sure who makes it, but it's really nice, uh, you get this wee bag inside, I really like this wee pouch, Pull the draw strings, close it nice and tight. But I really like the title on the front there. And then when we open this up, we get to the precious. Nice long silver chain, so you can wear that around your neck just like Frodo. And then you've got the ring. And yeah, nice detail on it, nice gold colour. And then you've got the. Is it Elvish? I can't even remember. It's some form of Elvish. I can't read it. But you've got that going right round. And uh, nothing on the inside, but it looks fairly good from the outside. And I really like this piece, especially for £20. I've got friends who have other One Ring replicas that they've spent 30 to £50 on, I'd say. And I would say it is better quality than this, but for £20, I'm really happy with what I got. And I think this is a fairly decent one ring replica okay we're coming down to the last few figures here let's go for Gimli because Gimli is a figure I've had for years and oh, what's that I've got two of them <laughs> yeah I got one in a bundle and I had one for years I got one for my birthday and I can't remember what birthday but I know it was a long time ago anyway this one I took the cape off you can see on this one he's got a cape Cape's really nice, but it just kind of limits the articulation in the head a wee bit. So I took that off. That's his original axe, I'm fairly sure, but I'm not 100%. Love the detail in this guy. The head looks pretty decent. The beard and the hair look great. But the chain mail and just the costume overall, the detail is so nice. I love this guy. So much that I've kept two of them. Nice articulation in the legs as well. Just the colours are awesome and yeah, great Gimli figure. I believe this is Return of the King. Okay, next up we'll go for Aragorn and oh, when I was a kid, I never had a good Aragorn figure. And I always would go to Woolworths and the toy shops and I'd look for Aragorn figures non-stop and they would always be sold out. Aragorn was obviously the popular favourite 
and there was never any figures off him to buy and it sucked. I ended up getting a massive multi-pack of Lord of the Rings figures where the Return of the King Aragorn came with it and it was alright, I just didn't really like how he was in his, you know, battle gear at the end of Return of the King, he's wearing the, in fact I don't think it was even battle gear, I think it was the actual king outfit where he's wearing his crown and everything. I wanted an Aragorn that looked like this and I finally managed to get one obviously when I grew up and was using eBay and things, so I've had him for a while now, he's the one I have out on display and he's a fairly decent Aragorn figure, you can see the likeness and it's certainly much better than others, <laughs> yikes. Um, but yeah, I'm happy with it. Aragorn was another one that I feel like they got pretty spot on, but there's just something slightly off. But for an old figure, it is really good. You know, really nicely articulated, much better than some of the other figures we've looked at. That would jointed elbow. I mean, what more could you ask for there? Once again, just wish I had a sword for him to hold, which once again, I probably do, but not got around to putting one in his hand. Who knows what was in here? In fact, I think it was a torch. It was like a wooden stake on fire. I'm sure I've seen pictures of that, but I'm not 100%. No articulation really in the arm, but you can get him moving at the torso, around at the waist. Just a really nice Aragorn figure. And let's go from Aragorn to Aragorn. Here is the two towers. Aragorn figure that I've kept in box just so I have an unbox Aragorn. Really like the head sculpt on this guy, he looks fairly decent. The skin tone looks a bit weird. <laughs> Look at his neck and his face, it's totally different. But yeah, I think it's a good likeness. I really like the costume he's got on here. Two Towers used to be my favourite when I was a kid. I don't know if it is now, but the sword looks really nice. Yeah, this is definitely a decent Aragorn. There is another couple Aragorn figures that I want to add to the collection. You've got the, I don't know, this one and this one. So I'm going to be keeping my eyes out on eBay for them. They seem a bit more expensive, but fingers crossed. This one's definitely worth it. Nice box. I mean, lovely box. What a great image. We've got the ring. Saruman at the top. Got the two towers at the bottom, and then just hunters at the back as always. Ugh. Tell me these boxes aren't the absolute best. And then let's look at my favourite figure out of the whole collection. It's the superposable Frodo. I had this figure as a kid. I rebought him because I lost him. He isn't in the best condition, but he is just he's great. The likeness of Frodo in that head sculpt is spot on. The hair's really nice, super poseable, so the articulation is great. You've got the one ring. I love this guy to the point that I've just ordered one brand new in box, and it was cheap. It was literally twelve pounds, and I would happily pay that over and over for such an amazing figure. The detail, once again, is just oh, it's on point, right down to his feet. I love the articulation in the feet. He can move his toes and you can move the foot backwards and forwards <sighs> yeah i don't know what else to say apart from this is just a perfect frodo figure and then last but not least we have this inbox frodo from return of the king the box is just great condition super poseable great likeness to frodo not as good as the super poseable but uh, still a good likeness and then this is his Mount Doom attire when he's finally got there. A great stand, I really like the stand. And then you've got the... So I'm not 100% sure what he says. It's something like, great to be here with you Samwise Gamgee at the end of all things. I could never make it out until I watched the movie again. But I really like that feature. You've got all this at the back. I'm glad to be with you, Samwise Gamgee, at the end of all things. Ah, I nearly got it. I nearly got it. But yeah, here is the box. Pause that if you want to read it. And then all the stuff going down. I really like that image as well. Just, ah, great. And there we have it guys, that is the end of my collection video. We looked at each one of my figures individually and I had a blast. This figure line is awesome. I really do think it's great. I love Lord of the Rings and Toy Biz just completely delivered on this line with the fun factor, the sculpts, the paint, the range of characters. It is just great and I would love to know what you guys think 
So let me know down in the comments below, as well as let me know what your favourite Lord of the Rings movie is, and you might as well just let me know what your favourite character is as well. What do you guys think of this line? I've spoke to a few folk, they love it just as much as me, however I've also spoke to folk that seem to have problems with the figures breaking on them. They are really old figures, I mean they're nearly 20 years old, I personally haven't had any problems with figures breaking. Apart from that one time Saruman's hair nearly came off, but we'll forget that, super glue that down. I'm a careful collector, I've not had any problems apart from that, and when figures are that old, I guess you do have to just take that bit of extra care. As I've said throughout this video, there is a lot of these figures up on eBay, a lot of great ones for fantastic prices, so if you are thinking of picking one up, go on over to eBay, see what you can find, and let me know down in the comments below if you are thinking of picking up any particular figure. Of course, at the moment, Diamond Select are releasing their Lord of the Rings line, but with how good the Toy Biz figures are, and with the whole range of them up on eBay, I think I'll just stick to the Toy Biz ones, especially for the price. And with all that being said guys, thank you so much for watching this video, I know it is a bit different, it's a lot longer, edited different, shot different, but I just wanted an extra challenge, especially because I hadn't had any videos recorded, and I just wanted to make a longer, bigger video, and hopefully I've executed it fairly well, let me know what you think, and yeah, just thank you so much for watching, thank you for all the continued support, and thank you for 130 subscribers, that is insane, I'm absolutely chuffed to bits with 130 subscribers, that is, that is awesome. So thank you for watching guys, please if you enjoyed hit that like button and if you're so kind please hit that subscribe button as well for future videos on figures and collectibles such as the ones we just looked at. With that being said, all that's left to say now is I'll catch you on the flip flop later. Cheers.